cat in that in that cruiser that has red and blue lights on it. Now, that's why I called him. I said, you can't do that. No. I said, yeah, your car is not an illegal team. Uh, I need to go talk to him. Thanks. Hi there. Yeah. All right. So you're an actual Cleveland police officer? No, no, I'm not with Cleveland PD. I work for uh, Cleveland Watchmen. We're a security company that hires only off-duty police officers to do traffic control. For, uh, are you an off-duty police officer? Yeah. Yeah. So who are you with? Uh, Pickway Sheriff's Office. Pickway. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so you're you're out of. They do. Hot, Ohio, and you're here working in Franklin County in Whitehall as an off-duty police officer. No, I'm working as security. So we do. No, you're in uniform marked as a police officer. You're working as a police officer right now with a car that has red and blue lights on it. Yeah. All so right. I've got, I've got some paperwork I can give to you from. Absolutely, that, and I'll need to get your you? information. I've been asked to come up here by my deputy chief and get that. Okay. Because yeah. Here you you. Um, so, I mean, we're finished fun. up with the work anyway, but um, they offered it, I guess, as special duty to your guys. So no, they did not. Okay. Clear, That's what we were told. Uh, not at all. Down. Nope. Not at all. And if it gets offered to us, if we pass it, we have to give it to Franklin County. And they, they said they offered it to them and they passed too. So. No, they did not. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that 966 Pierce is a problem house. I think there's a female family. Where's member, the car come uh, from? Comes and goes there that Cleveland Watchmen, the company that I work for. I her, her so they're owned by two, it's a not for profit agency owned by two Cleveland police officers. Fifty-five. Copy at twelve four. Go ahead. Henry Henry Paul seven seven four zero. Henry Henry Paul seven seven four zero. Go ahead. And just print that out for me. I'll be out here at uh, Collingwood and Broad talking to this uh, company working up here. Do you have your ID on you by chance? So I can get your information. Are you full time over in Pickway? Uh, I live in Pickway, so. Um, Seventy-four to one hundred five. So I left the sheriff's office there. I'm going to. Uh, I was full time there. I left full time uh, as a jail dep there. So you're not even a police officer. Uh, currently, I'm, I'm well. I'm starting a new commission with a, a village up in um, Richland County. So, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, but what I'm saying is, you're not even a police officer. You are currently not a full-time or a part-time police officer anywhere. Reserve. Okay. Where are you a reserve officer at? So, give me a second. I'll give you the name of the village because it got hooked up through the company here that I'm working with. So. Okay. Do you have an ID from that village? Not with me. No. Not with you. No. So you don't have an ID. You don't have a badge. What's the badge you were displaying earlier? Sorry. What's the badge you were displaying earlier? What do you mean? Do you have a badge? Yes. What was that the badge old. you were displaying earlier? That's my old Pickaway one. So you have a Pickaway County badge, but you don't work for them? It's a previous one from there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You have that with flex. you currently? Yeah, it's a flex badge. Can I see that, please? Yeah. Fifty-five to sixty-three. Why do I feel like I'm about to actually get you yeah. end up by you guys? For yes, I'm gonna need you to stop up here, please. I'm on the KFC lot of calling one frog. This has gotten much deeper. What are you on? Yeah, well, I talked about you earlier. That traffic detail.
So the company, the company's trying to get you a reserve commission. They already got one. They already got one. So the guy that owns the company, he's in my unit for the, for the guard, um, and then uh, another guy that's in, in my unit is chief of police, Sergeant Proper. And let me, uh, let me call John, who Ooh. is the command sergeant major in my. He's also the... Okay, those are all military people, right? Yeah, but he's he's the owner of this company. He's the owner of this company. So let me call him. That's fine. Hey, John. Okay. So I'm out here in Whitehall. Five copy an OL number for me. Tom Tom nine nine five eight four five. Tom Tom nine nine five eight four five. Yeah, print that off for me and hold it. contact this house, talk to him about the vehicle. It hasn't been 24 hours yet. Come in. 25 to 55 Yeah, go ahead. Are you good, fly? Yeah, I am right at the moment. Not quite sure what you got up there, but if it's going to be like an impersonation kind of thing, we're right down the road. We can help you with that part of it. Yeah, actually, both might want to come down here and handle maybe the military end of it. Okay, we'll be down that way. He's just finishing some notes. you stop over here for me? Uh, you might be able to answer a question for me. Hi, Kathy. We're route from 220. Yeah, I got it. I don't know if he ran that or not, but he's got a line of duty crash from Banks County. Yeah, I know. At one point, he might have worked for somebody. Okay. I don't know what all you have. Just Yeah, and if 
like you would uh, for the screen, just add this company name. This is the uh, power company that's up here. It's Matrix, um, Mary, Adam, Tom, Robert, Ida, and right? uh, Nora, Adam, Charles. Okay, it initially just kind of did a comment screen. Do you want like a 48, 48 inch screen? Yeah, that'll work for now. Um, just, yeah, make up a screen and put this all day. Okay, so we're going to Are you guys out of Pennsylvania? You guys out of PA? Uh, the company is, but work for Okay. I just saw the tag, that's what I was wondering if you guys hey, were you out. you know an Aaron Oakley? He, I think he used to be a Whitehall cop, now he's a lineman. Aaron? I didn't know if you might know him or not. No, nah, he could have been one of our auxiliaries. There, there's a ton of them, man. What, what's going on? I don't understand. Go ahead, Mr. He's not a police officer. Okay. Who's the supervisor? He's gone. He's gone, he's gone right down here. here. He went to uh, AEP. That's, that's, that's the second back. command now. Okay. I want to say AWP hired. Did, did AWP hire you? Yes. Yeah, AWP know. hired. Um, so AWP or AEP? AWP. Okay. Area wide out. protective. Aha, uh -huh, okay, them. Hmm. Okay. I assume you guys may have had problems with them the way you said that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so the village is Glenmont, Ohio. And I was trying to call the chief just now to have him vouch for it. So. Um, Hey, George. Okay, so, all police is I'm pulling up with S55. Copy. Here, tell me what's wrong with it. It's plastic. Yeah, that's what he was displaying. And he's armed and everything. Have we taken his firearm? Not yet. See, this is who he works for. Which is, he's in the military. Yeah, but the screen printed. He's in the military. He, the guy who owns his company is his uh, commanding officer, some uh, sergeant, first sergeant, sounds like. All right. And they got hired through this company here, Area Wide, Area -wide Protection. He says he used to work. It was AWP, was on one of those trucks. Yeah, well, no, that's them. They're, they're separate. So they. So he says he now works for the village of Glenmont, Ohio. Hey, yes, he used to work for Baker Bay County. I said, so you're currently not certified anywhere. And he goes, well, I'm a reserve officer. I said, give me an ID or a badge. He said, well, I don't have one because they're trying to get that. Yeah. So he's over there uh, with his required. boss, who is a military officer. All this, all these people are related to the military that work for this here, this off-duty. Where's the military guy? Well, that's who. What's up? Is he, he is. All right, real quick. So, this is what he was displaying. It's fake. <laughs> that's cool. Well, maybe that's he is. Reason. He is armed. Okay. He's fully armed, acting as a police officer. He has a vest on, says police. All right. Now, he says that he worked for Pickway County Sheriff's Office, but he no longer works for them. And I said, well, let me see that badge you were displaying. He said, well, well and I said, no, let me see the badge you were just displaying when I pulled up because he was showing it to Jeff Hart. So this yeah. is what I took off of him. I said, so who do you work for now? And I said, he says, well, I, I work for a, a village. I said, well, let me see your idea for them and your, our badge. He said, well, I don't have any. I for said, so who? who does he work for? Well, he finally gave it to me because he had to call his boss, who is the owner, who they're all related from the military. They're all in the same military unit together, who is a 
uh, uh, either retired or off-duty Cleveland police officer who started this. Yeah, yeah, but my question is, is, is he, he said, a police officer? Well, he's on the phone. He's trying to get a hold of his well, chief well, now of this village who is a village. It's Glenmont, Ohio. But he says this, this Cleveland police officer who he works for for this company is trying to get them all reserve commissions through this village. So he's currently not a police officer anywhere. Okay, so he's not a police officer. That, yeah, he him hums around about that. He won't give you a direct answer, but you finally said, you are not a police officer anyway. Well, <coughs> not really. I said, you're not yeah. commissioned anywhere. So. All right, so he's not a police officer. No. So if he is not a police officer and he's working for this company. Well, he, yeah, they don't know. They basically, so this area-wide protection, as soon as he said that, that's the one I dealt with before with the same exact problem. Yeah. Area-wide protection hired Cleveland Watchmen, which is off-duty Cleveland and other officers through a, a military group. It's a group of military people that are officers. They hired them, and the, he came down. This, that's why this comes back, I guess, to the company. And it's got red and blues. Well, Sorry. here's what I suggest. One of, one of two options. I'll leave it to you. You're the boss out here. But I would say if, if he's working for this company and he's not a police officer, we have, we have two options. One, you could, which he can work for a company and he can regulate traffic. I know, yeah. but he worked Look, for them. He, he worked for Pickwick. What's his name? He's got it. Uh, Casey. Cassidy, Casey Williams. Casey Williams. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's over there. You know Casey? him? Yeah, he was fired from Pickwick. Oh, uh, okay. Well, he's, he's displaying their badge out here. Uh -oh. That's a made badge. That's not our badge. Right, yeah. yeah. We don't uh, provide those and we don't approve those. Yeah. So you have two options. He, if, if he wanted you to, to stay working, he would have to take off. there. Yeah. This is weird. Right. <laughs> I'm still getting used to Where's it. Where's our guy? We, he's, oh, there. he's over there. So he's you know, I, I would so say you have two okay. options. Hi, Lieutenant. Yeah. Listen, How are you? I would say you could say, well, if you're going to regulate traffic, you have to take off anything that says police officers, and you cannot turn those lights on if they have a blue light on them, period. Unless that law has changed, only police officers can have blue light. Okay. Or you would cite him for having the blue light and charge him with personating a police officer. Or, instead of just advising him, you could do both of those things right now if we saw him doing all this stuff that you're saying. Well, I'm not going to see issue what Pick Pickway County wants to do about this, and if, too. And if we, if we charge him He's with a panic a, If we charge him with that crime and we cite him with that, um, and we impound that vehicle for the equipment violation, which we could also do, but we don't have to do that. Um, then I'm pretty sure that's going to take care of this process in the future. Yeah. Summons him for impersonating a police officer. He's got a badge on him with a uh, claiming to be an officer. They didn't need him hauled around. Write all that up about who he is and and all that kind of stuff. And you know, if you want to, he's out here regulating. He's out here. Right. It's not impersonating. I think that's the theft defense. Impersonating a police officer. Make sure if you don't know this, Joe White. There's two different impersonators. There's one called impersonating a police officer, one called personating a police officer. One of them, I think, oh, is the impersonating is under the theft section where you're doing it. Uh, I think. Well, I'm trying to so get you some. Before we do, before some, I go that so, yeah, route, yeah, you'd have to see which one applies. And I'm not yeah. sure. Before I go that route, I definitely want to find if he does, if he has a commission with Village of Glenmont, yeah. then. Then yes, right. But then, but, then, but either way, he's not working for them right now, so that light doesn't come on, and he displays nothing that says police. And then I'm okay with that resolution too. If that's right. where you end up. Going. But then, wouldn't he get a CCW charge too if he doesn't have a concealed carry, but, he's, but he has a home? Yes. Well, he's open carrying. Oh, he's open. It's fine. But he's in the vehicle. Um, not when I haven't seen him in the vehicle. He he was out walking around talking to Jeff Hart. Uh, well, when we saw him, he was just sitting in the vehicle. So if he had it on him. No. Then it would be a so it would probably be an improper transport, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because improper he's, handling. Yeah, improper handling because he's got it openly displayed at least. Um, but that you're right. Yeah, that's a good vest. call. That you might have a violation on that of some sort, depending on what he's doing. But if he's out walking around with it, then we don't. Yeah. But if he's in the vehicle driving, then it's not proper security, right? Then you have that also. All right, let me go. So, I, I'll let you decide, Rex. All right. But he might end up with at least. Yeah. Here, give that to Brooke and for now. Okay. Now I can't get a hold of the chief from Richland Township, which is Glenmont. 
Um, it's Richland Township. Yeah. So it's it's a township police department no, or it's the it's village, a village? Village in Richland Township. Yeah. Okay. It's a village in Richland. But you have no but you have no ID from them. No, all right. No, no, no. And no. have you ever been sworn in by them? I've talked to the chief. No, no. So I'm asking you a direct yeah. question. Have you, you been sworn in now, by this them? It's very important you answer this correctly because being a former police officer or someday a current police officer, you know if you lie in this situation, you go directly to jail. No, I'm not. So I'm going to put not, that right up. Listen, up. I'm not. So trying, if I'm you not. are telling me you are a police officer right now, is I'm, that what you're telling no. me? So no. you are not a commissioned police officer? I have spoke with the chief. That's not what I'm asking okay. you. I'm asking you one question. Are you a commissioned police officer through the state of Ohio? I have an OPUDA certificate. That's not what That's I'm asking. That's not what I'm asking I'm, you. I'm explaining to you. I have no, 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 you're not. You're not answering the question. You're avoiding the question. It's very simple. Are you a sworn police officer anywhere in the state that of Ohio with any department? Not currently. Okay. That's right. the not question. The, well, well, I'm, oh, not I'm, currently. I'm unsure. I'm unsure. I'm unsure. You can't be unsure. You can't be unsure. You would have to raise your hand square, okay. sign a form, and you would get I've talked to paperwork the on that. Okay. Hello. Talking to the chief is not enough. Uh, yeah, the chief of police is here, so. Yeah, so he's not commissioned with paperwork. Okay. So that he's not going to get back. Okay. Uh, one second. Would you be willing to speak to the supervisor from the company? From? From Washington. From Watchman? Yes. Is he an actual police officer? You are an actual police officer, correct? Uh, okay. Okay. Yes, he is. Where, where, are you, where are you commissioned at? It, it doesn't matter. He's not here doing anything. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care if he's uh, the superintendent of the state highway patrol. That's irrelevant to the situation. Okay. So uh, you can talk to him if you I want, Rex, but I got no Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hello? Yeah, this is Sergeant Atkins with the Ohio Police Department. Okay. <laughs> well, the issue has is that we have a, a off-duty officer, or not an off-duty officer, a person acting as an off-duty officer uh, with a semi-marked vehicle. It's red and black and white, it doesn't have any police markings on it, but it does have red and blue lights on it that were being displayed out on one of our main thoroughfares, Broad Street, okay, with a gentleman wearing a vest that's marked police and a full duty belt with a badge that says Pickway County Sheriff's Office, stating he's working special duty here in the city of Whitehall, all right? Now the issue is, is that this company that works for AEP they never contacted us about any special duty, all right, to work. And I know the lady at AAP, because I deal with her all the time, and she always contacts me if they have something here in Whitehall that they need special duty for. There. So, so. And I asked about this, because I did. I really did. I promise you, okay? I promise you guys 110%. I am not and I've had this same issue with AWP before. So I'm not putting the blame totally on, on you or anything like that with the Cleveland Watchman group, but AWP has tried this before, and then they say, well, no one wants to work. Well, that's not true, okay? We have our own special duty officers that work these traffic details, okay? And if we can't get it, we contract with the sheriff's office here locally. There. He, he is not a commission officer, actually. I have a, I have a female officer here that worked for P Pickway County that now works for us, and she said that Casey was fired from them, all right? However, he's out here in a full duty belt with a police vest with police markings on it displaying a badge that says Pickway County. 
and it's not a real badge anyway, it's a fake plastic badge that someone's had made. Oh yeah, because we're deciding now if we're what we're going to take him on, if we're going to take him. And this vehicle belongs to who? Because he says it belongs to the company. Okay. Oh, I understand that. He's not commissioned through anybody right now. He can't even tell. He says it's Richland, Richland Township. And I said, well, is it a township or is it a village? He said, well, it's a village. I said, well, it's one or the other. I said, you know, it's either a township police department, a village police department, a city police department. You, you, you tell me. And I, so we got down to the nitty gritty and we just flat asked him, are you a sworn officer with any place in the state of Ohio, any department? I don't care if it's a township, a village, a city, what? He says, well, I have a, a, a pot of certificate. I said, I didn't ask that. I said, are you a sworn police officer? And he said, no. Which doesn't matter. He's not part of that. <laughs> right. Um, I, yeah, I haven't had a chance. Okay. What, what's your first name again? I'm sorry. Dare. What's a phone number for the company or a way I can get a hold of you if I need to? Okay. No, that's all right. Just so I have a number to go for. Um, yeah, well, let me talk to the other, find out what's going on here, and I will call you, give you a call back, all right, and let you know. Um, if he does... Well, here's the, the question. Cars, if he does uh, end up going so with us, all right, um, so, good on white, what do you want to do with this vehicle? But, uh, yeah, we drove by and I see him sitting there. It's not out sleeping. And he told me they were hired. I understand. Else. Um, let me figure it out, call you back, and I'll let you know. Alrighty. He said they're right. flagmen. Yeah, but I know. There's the one that hired reached out. Yeah, hired. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it to you. Um, yeah, he no says, matter what, we're gonna do a code one on it, right? Yeah, he it? says that. He's, I just talked to the owner of this company. He says that that area, this area wide protection, contacted them, all right, and said we have a detail in Columbus that we can't get covered. Can you guys do it? He said I was not aware it was in. He goes I don't. I'm from Cleveland. I don't know your jurisdictional boundaries on it. He goes I was told it was in Columbus and they did not want it and were not available. And I explain how we do it. He says, I understand. I appreciate, I totally understand what you mean. That it's in your jurisdiction yeah. and you contact the county if not. He said, he's never met this guy. He says, I've never met him. He goes, I was advised through other people that he worked for the village of Glenmont and he had a commission with them. He goes, and we hired him because he lived down there. He goes, I would never have sent, he goes, this is their car. He said, we have maintained our own fleet of cars up here because we work mostly up here in Cleveland area. He goes, I would have never sent him five hours away with one of our cars if I didn't know he wasn't a police officer. He goes, I'm being a, and I said, all right, I understand that. All right, well, he's getting hold of the chief of that department. So we'll be verify there that he's not that one and he's not that one, obviously. And he does so not have a CCW. I'm okay with whichever route you go with it. I mean, he doesn't have a CCW, so I'm okay if, if you want to write it and then just put a stop to it or if you want to charge him. I don't, I don't care what. All right. 55, you good if we clear them? Um, yeah, what's this? You need me any more racks? No. Yeah, no, no, thanks. But I, I just want to... What's his... Uh,
Did you contact Tickway? I did. I talked contact Lieutenant. All right. What was their uh, take on it? What did they? He said absolutely not. He's left a while. He left before I left because he was under investigation and he was going to be dismissed. So he chose to quit before that investigation ended. Did they get all their badges back? Yes. That's a made one. I know. and But that's what I'm saying because when I initially asked him, he said he had a Pickway County badge. That one. Well, and that's when I, yeah, yeah, when I said, show me. Yeah, it has to be checked off. When you leave, you have to turn in your ID. Okay, and I just want to make sure. So, yes, yeah, I want to make sure he it. does not have anything else on him. No, though. so he probably when he because he worked in the jail, he never worked the road. So when he worked in the jail, our deputies still get the deputy badges. So he probably scanned because that looks like it's just a sticker. So he probably yeah. scanned that, had that he made before he left, turned in all his stuff, and then left. Which lieutenant's requesting a copy of the report as well um, because. Off that he's representing Pickway County. I understand. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you guys are good. Then. Thanks. Okay. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. This captain's supposed to call me back from Belmont or wherever. From Glenmont. 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 Yeah. Okay. He's supposed to call me back. Just so I can verify that. I just need to yeah. narrow it down. So. If we, if he's not, then that answers that. Before you make any decisions here. Give me one, one minute. We're going to verify one more thing with, oh. all right, and then I'll, I will let you know. Yeah, if you just want to hang out by the car, that'd be great. Um, he, I did get him to verify that he did have the gun on him while he was sitting in the cruiser. So it, it's up to you what you want to do. I'm still going to take a report on it so I can send it to pick away. But yeah. it's really up to you what you, what you want to do with that. Yeah, I think we're going to, I think we've kind of ruined his career anywhere. This, this company's going to fire him anyway. I just talked to the owner. And they're like, he's like, no, no, no. We were not aware of that. No, no, no. And I said, well, what do you want to do with this car? And he said, well, we'll have to send people down there if he gets arrested. So I told him I'd call him back. Um, well, I even told him, I was like, I was like, if you would have been up front with us from the get-go, I was like, we would be more willing to work with you. And I was like, but you, it took my deputy chief to get in your face for you even, for even to say anything. Yeah. And so he was like, yeah, well, I started yesterday. I was like, they could have written a memo, and you could have just been in a private capacity. I'm like, what made you put on the badge? And I said, you didn't have to put on the badge. You could have had your gun readily available, and you could have had handcuffs. I was like, but the thing is, the only thing you could do is citizen's arrest. Hey, Casey, when were, when were you uh, sworn in at Glenmont? So, he's not. He's not. He's never been sworn in. So, so I talked to the chief. He was supposed to take care of it. So you talked to the chief today? Not the chief no. proper? No, I was just trying to call him. Oop. You were just trying to call him? For what? Yeah. Do you have his phone number? Yeah, so your time. Uninterrupted okay. to explain exactly what. Yeah, one, one second. So he's saying he should be. When was this supposed to happen if it didn't happen now? I was supposed to be this week to. Finish everybody. Paperwork and everything. Transport. Where it was. We'll go back and I was told it was good. You want I, have, I have the chief's word. I, and I went on um, a man's word. That's what it is. You went on your word. You don't Probably have any not. documentation. You see the issue. You, 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 no, I do. And that's why I'm, I'm trying my best to call the or chief. I can't get a hold of him. Because we're not exactly in business to just you no, know, no, I let people come out here and say they we're all the same. One team, one fight, right? You're not even fired. Because he doesn't have a CCW from there. And then he was riding the vehicle like that. Might yeah. So yeah, I, gonna that's where we're at, Cap. I, I appreciate it. I just wanted to nail it down for my report. Williams, C A S E Y. Hello. Last name Williams. And he said he was told by. Hello. Yeah. But originally he was sworn in with. They're calling, they're calling Prober, which is the guy that, uh, a staff sergeant from the guard that Let me, ball, let me go grab my a car. Sergeant Major Ball had to Do you guys have more work you're going to be doing on Broad Street today? The road here? No, we're not that we're aware of. with this job, I believe. Well, we don't know if we're going to be on this road or where we're going to be yeah, on this we're road. Get, we're okay. Getting, our, our, our boss is getting us a new work 
backpacker right now, so I don't know exactly where it will be, but I'm sure we're not going on. We're not going to have him today? Probably not. Oh. Definitely, I can say not. Definitely not. Yeah, but I'm definitely going to take him in and summon him probably. Alright. Unless we... Did we get any information? Unless Glenmont says that he has a... Glenmont, the captain said he's going to text the chief. He said that is a, a number to the chief, he says, but it's like one and two. It would be like the chief at one of the deputy chiefs. He was like, no. He's like, I've never even heard of him. Well, here's the he was like, he may be, he said he may very well be in process and maybe, a, you know, somebody knew him, recommended him. Well, you he, know, he he's said in the he's guard with the chief, is what it sounds like. So with the, the chief himself? That's what it sounds like. It sounds like the chief of this PD is his sergeant in the guard. Okay. So. But you should still understand he's not the police. And that's He's been commissioned as a police. Well, officer. and he, the, the only thing that, that ruined it for him is probably that Pickway County badge. Because when he displayed that to Jeff Hart and all that, and he was wearing around his neck, sorry. All right. You knew you didn't work for Pickway. You got fired. They took everything. You turned everything back in. All right. So, okay. we can, um, yeah. I think Wait. it's uh, it really an impersonation. That, I, I swear to you, that's not right. And we'll park his car. I'll call the owner of the company back and tell them they can come pick up their cruiser. And is the is the company still all the way in Cleveland? Yeah. So he drove all the way to Cleveland because no. he lives in Asheville, or does he live up that way? I don't know how he got the car, but he's the guy said the guy the company owner said yes. I would not have sent a guy you know, five hour round trip with one of our cars. So he must have drove to Cleveland at some point, picked up one of their cars on a five hour trip to come down here. He goes, he goes, I was told by area wide protection that this was a Columbus detail and Columbus didn't want it. Yeah, and that's fine. But at some point in time, where he goes, he's never met this guy. Yeah, but how did they, yeah, well, that's what I'm saying, how did they verify people's commission? Well, that's the problem. It sounds like they're they're not exactly. Yeah, because then they just say, hey, you can't have red and blue lights. Well, up in Cleveland, Cleveland, he sounds, this guy, the owner of the company works for Cleveland. He says, we mostly work around here in Cleveland, which I can't believe Cleveland P, P officers are happy with that, are happy with one of their own starting a company and undercutting their special duty. But that's what it sounds like they did. They may not have the ability to cover it. That, that, either. that could be. But he hires nothing but off-duty officers. Now he may hire. Well, he may hire. I mean, they had that that FBI thing that stepped in there a little while. Yeah, and they may and they may have hired like townships and villages around Cleveland.
found a good paying job and I was told by the guys, like, hey, we'll take care of a commission, we'll get it taken care of, it's no big deal. I come out here, yeah, I was told, hey, you can start, make some money. That's all I was trying to do. Please do not, I'm, I'm asking you for courtesy, man to man, please do well, not ruin my career. Please, please, please. I, okay. think, I think you did that kind of on your own, Casey. Please. All right. Um, the Pickway County, you knew you didn't work for Pickway County. You displayed that badge. All right. You're out here acting in a law enforcement capacity, displaying a badge that you have no right to have, or a facsimile of a badge. That's not even a real badge. No. You were aware of that. Yeah, okay? it's, it's not real. Okay. So, all right, you're going to be charged. Oh, seriously? I'm serious, okay? Now, we're going to be nice about this, okay? And we're going to take you over, and you can take your gun belt off, and you can set it on the hood of that car, okay? okay? Um, and we're going to take you in. We will not. We don't have to handcuff you. This officer is going to pat you down, all right? And we'll let you out, all right, on a summons, all right? Now, are we too far for me to? We, we, yeah, we're, we're, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, Listen, okay? completely deceptive. Here's the problem. Here, here's, you don't understand that right now we can charge you for improperly handling in a vehicle. I can charge you for impersonating a police officer. All right, I, there's tons of charges. What are you charging me? Here, well, probably the impersonation of a police officer. So, so all the right. best thing to do right now is to just take off the belt. And I'm, I'm all right, so let's step over here and take care of that Smith, first. Right here, right here. Right. Take off the belt, and then I'm going to switch. You don't have anything else on you, do you? No. All right. Just no, no, no. Just don't don't reach in. All right. You you yeah. should know the drill. Nope. Nope. Don't interlock. Like a friend. Okay. Like a friend. Don't interlock. Um, can I call my supervisor? We will we will get a chance. I'm going to call the owner of the company. You mean the guy I spoke with? I'm going to talk to him. He gave me his number. Said to call him back. All right. Which which one? The one that you talked to on the phone on George? My phone? Yeah. No, the owner is John Ball. Well, George is, is who I'm going to call back because okay. he's the one. I'm... He's just the supervisor. Okay. John is doing it. John's the one that talked to Sergeant Proper who was supposed to help me. But you never talked to Sergeant Proper. I did. I did talk to Sergeant Proper, yes. Yeah. A whistle. A whistle around the neck. Yeah. Can we discuss another charge at least? Like the All right. Where are the keys to this car? Where's the where's the keys to this car? Is uh, it with your regular keys? Is it with your regular? Yeah, they're on my regular. Do you have a? Do you have a property back? Um, I don't. There might be one in the back of that. magazines on your seat just because okay. um, literally zero storage and he's in my seat that I put stuff in and I'm in the passenger seat no problem um, we'll see if he wants his stuff out of this car because I think the company's gonna probably come back down here and get this Okay, I guess she wants to stand by for property. Is that what it sounded like to you? 
Yeah, that's right. And she wants us to make sure that we're watching for her coming in. Not sure if the family's going to follow her. Fifty five to radio. Okay. Yeah, a couple yeah, part of that traffic data. Yeah. Is that the one over on uh, Fountain Lane? Yes, sir. Right. Yep, fifty five to L seventy four. Go ahead. Yeah, that was at uh, code three from yesterday. Here where they went up to New Albany to locate. They had uh, all the handguns. I believe it was part of the agreement, or they were going to make an agreement with the uh, protection order that he surrender those, or they, they collect them from the apartment. That may be what it's about. Hey, is the trunk button in the okay. glove box there? 74 radio, when she shows up, you can just, uh, I don't, I'm not aware of anything special that needs to go on. You can just have an officer handle that as normal. It's been a while since I've been Oh, there it is. I'm just going to take all of this. Yeah, take care. Oh my god. Alright. And it's loaded, right? Okay, we're not going to... Yeah. Take all his stuff, and you can throw it in my car. I'll put it in the back of yours. Just throwing everything in the back. Hey, I think you're just gonna have to go the full course. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I think it's close to five long. Yeah, it's beyond that. I'm going to go ahead and park this here. I'll call the company. They can come get it. I'll lock it up. Here's his keys. Yeah, go ahead and take him in. Do an uh, interview on him. Mirandize him. Do an interview. Basically, same questions you were asking. I'd rather not. Uh, you got it. No, but here's not that. Here's what I was to say. Why don't we have this towed to our lot? where it's at least semi sort of secure, like where we can watch it on camera. And then That's we can true. probably put it in the basement. Well, no, we, just as long as it's on, on the lot. lot. Okay. All right, yeah, let's do let's do that. Good idea. I just would hate that somebody kind of jack up their car. Especially since it does have red yeah. and blues. All right. What's that? Well, things change. You know, we try to do the reasonableness test here, but listen, man, there's just way too much. You're, you've got a code in there that doesn't belong to you. That's got deputy sheriff stuff on there. You got a loaded rifle. You're a traffic guy, man. That's all your details going to be. What active shooter situation are you going into? That you need to carry a loaded rifle and rifle blades. Listen, this is all because we're trying to look cool, whatever. I get it. Well, you're completely in the wrong. That's all I can tell you. Go ahead and put your foot in there. Are you serious? Do you have a... Do you have your Our boss is headed here now if you need to talk to him. That'll work. I'll talk to him. He's here, quick. <laughs> he 
says you're getting locked up next. <laughs> Please, I'm begging. He'll tell you right now. He hung up. He's don't tell him to make no break no laws getting here, all right? I, I got enough he going on. Yeah. You need to mess he'll come in here sideways. Please, he'll cry. Need that kind of person. It's, it's already starting out to be a, a long day. Do I need to fill out a toast for it? We probably... Is that one his? Oh, yeah. Uh, it had the red and white tag I on it. I got it. It's okay. okay. Um, <laughs> yes, we'll have to do it because we'll have to give the tow uh, company okay. one. Okay. So how far away is Did he, uh, did he tell you he was in a guard unit, Joe? Huh? Did he tell you he was in a guard unit? He said a guard unit, right? That's what I said, yeah. So supposedly now, I wasn't speaking. Hey, before you do your, um, um, before you do that, just, He's going to keep talking to us for each and every one of us. Obviously, we'll hear the voice of us. Yep. You understand? I don't have to be verbatim. We just have to cover like you can. You know, I don't have a card. Yep. Um, yeah. I did say just transport. Just transporting that. something or whatever and how spontaneous utterance is an utterance I'm sure you can explain that but you know that way if you got that burning question it comes right after he says it you're right so. okay Sidebar uh, investigating potential police officers because you don't think like what's the like I could see somebody pulling this like somewhere crazy but like in the middle of a municipality like well and that guy said he goes I he goes I was told it was Columbus he goes we'd have never done this all right he goes you know he goes I he goes trust me I I work for Cleveland I understand jurisdiction I understand that whole thing because I understand. It. You know, you don't step on other. He goes, up here, we work with all the departments around us and stuff. And I said, you know, that's not, I, I not blaming it all, all on you. What I'm saying is, is that. It's good news. Yeah. Dude, he's got. It, it got even, it kept his different. He's yeah, got so, a loaded rifle and everything. Yeah. But the. Rifle plates. A fake badge, a jacket that says, has deputy sheriff patches on it from Pickway. He, he got fired was, from it. Said he was commissioned with the Glenmont Village. Called them and they're like, never heard of it. And then he was like, well, I mean, it was supposed to be done this week. I, I was going off a man's word. Like, you don't just, you don't just get to be a police officer going off somebody's word. Like, and he's been commissioned like three no, years. Old Christmas said he's going to hire me, so I've yeah, he's, pretty much got me. He's been commissioned at three other with places. The CCW? And it's like, huh? Charging with the CCW? What? Now, he had the improper, but I think they're just going to go. Improper. Yeah. I mean, because it's open carry, it's on the ship, other than being in the car where you got the improper, but I think, I mean, it's up to him, but I mean, I think it's just impersonating a police officer. Definitely and, that. And then leave it up to Pickway County to charge him. It's not much on Leave it up to Pickway County to charge him if they want for theft. I just heard, I drove by earlier, and I'm like, can you have red and blue lights? And I'm like, I don't think now, you can. Now, that's interesting. 
Is that going to be... What are these guys Could saying? they do a felony theft? They, they knew nothing. Well, we're, we're honestly, we're going to have to probably get back in the station so I can start looking and reading some of these because these are going to be like... Ones that... Yeah, like the red and blue lights on this car is a violation. Who's this car registered to? The car belongs to the company, and the company is in Cleveland. And I talked to a supervisor at the company. And he actually works for them? He does. He says, I've never met him. He says, somebody else hired him. I, I know who you're talking about. And he goes, I, w I was told that he worked for a village so close up here. And he goes, he goes, he goes, trust me, he goes, I would have never had somebody drive five hours, you know, back and forth, because he pays him for that, to, to go clear down to Columbus to work a detail that we're not even supposed to be working. So yeah, so I think I got to deal with this supervisor here real quick. How's it going? All right. Are you the guy I'm supposed to take to jail? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they all said take you to jail. <laughs> All right, so real quick. Yeah, what's up with that dude? Uh, he is not a certified police officer in the state of Ohio anymore. Anyway. That's crazy. Uh, he is acting in the capacity. He had a fake badge, sheriff's badge. He had a loaded rifle. He's wearing a gun belt with a loaded gun. He's wearing a vest that says police officer. He has a car that has red and blue lights on it. Now, he works for a company that can do that up in Cleveland. So he's going to jail. Uh, we're going to impound the car, so you're kind of losing your thing, all right? We've had this issue once before with area-wide protection, yeah. all right? Stepping in to a jurisdiction, because we work special duty. Yeah, right? that's what I called, and they said they can't get their cops. They never even called us. Yeah. I, I, I'm about done with area-wide. Area-wide, because um, I know the lady at AEP. And normally yeah. she calls Regina? us direct. Yeah, Regina. Yeah, she that's calls who me. I deal with, but. Regina normally calls me or the other sergeant directly and says, hey, we're going to be working in your area. It's one of our contractors. I, I mean, we've done it for tons of yeah. contractors for AEP. Well, see, my, comp, uh, my uh, contact AEP, who I was just with, uh, who, who I go through, he said, hey, instead of going through Regina, he said, just call area-wide and then getting us cops. But I don't know if it's been this guy or not, you know what I mean? So yeah. usually that's who I go to is Regina. And She's the best one to go to because yeah. she knows all the jurisdictions. Yeah. She knows all of us. She knows yeah. all of us here in Franklin County. Yeah, because usually we get, that's why I said told Brian. Well, we had two cops cancel on us yesterday, the day before. And I said, call Whitehall. I said, I see him driving around all the time, so why not call Whitehall? Now, the problem is, are you guys done out here? Yeah, yeah, we'll uh, be done out here. I'm going to go, uh, I'll have these guys go in and do some other stuff, but we'll be done out there. Okay, I mean, if you need, we can probably get you some stuff. She did not like this short of notice, yeah, but yeah, you know, if you need fine. somebody next week or something. Yeah, I finished this job up this morning when we okay. did this outage. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, um, and what I just wanted to give you a heads up. Very trouble. So is he like an person an officer? Yeah, he used to work for a sheriff's department, but they got rid of him. Yeah, yeah. and that's who he's got their stuff stuff. He was out there fucking yelling at cars, and I mean, I thought he was like, but I see his car this morning, and it was like, yeah. yeah. Now, the car belongs to a company out of Cleveland. Yeah, it just still doesn't look like it's, no. it just doesn't look like it's Well, you can't put, now, he could come, and, and so you guys know in the future, so, you know, so you're not saying like, oh, why did these got, like, you could have, he could have, he could have bought that car at an auction, and he could put all yellow lights on it, and sit behind you guys and work traffic. As a private citizen, all right. You can't have the blue and red. Right? But you can't have the blue and red. So is this company legal for having the blue and red? They are, all right, and they know it, all right. But that's why they stay up in Cleveland. Why they sent somebody down here, I don't know, because they can't do what the hit was. Why are they allowed to do blue? Well, probably because they all work for Cleveland. Cleveland PD just ignores it. I'm not saying that, yeah. all right. But that could be it, all right. You know. That's crazy. How'd you, how'd you guys know? Well, one of our officers went by and saw that and goes, that's not one of our cars. We don't even have cars anymore. Yeah. And he goes, so he stopped and talked to him. And he was asleep in the car. He was sitting behind your truck, asleep in the car. So he gets up and he talks to him and he says, he said, hey. And he had the gun on.
Is this dog getting overheated? Oh, man. <laughs> oh. So yeah, they drove by, they talked to him, and they just went, eh, this doesn't seem right. So they came in, asked me, because I do all this stuff. I said, no, nobody contact us for a special on project. I said, well, you may want to go out there and check with him. So when I got out, he was talking to our, our street uh, superintendent, wearing the badge and thing. I walked up there, and I asked him directly. And he just started giving me, like, he wouldn't answer. So I finally got down to the nitty gritty of, like, hey, you have a gun on you. I'm saying, you know, you need, you need to be honest with me. And finally, he said, yeah, I'm, I don't want to be here. And we have an officer that used to work for Pickway Sheriff's Office. And we brought her over, and she said, yeah, I know him. And I, she goes, I said, this him? She goes, yeah, he got fired. And I said, well, what's the shield? Uh, yeah, that's one of those fake. So he has a classic badge. That you know, that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do I tell Carmen this? They called Brian and tell him, who the fuck is sitting out here? Yeah, so. All right. Well, well we're not going to hold you guys up any yeah. then and or anything like that. And as long as you guys are done and I don't have to worry about, you know. Because, Mike, I don't want to get you guys out there and get you hit. I mean, I can get you somebody to at least. Yeah, we're good. All we're right. Done. Had to raise all that stuff up. Sounds Appreciate good. It, no problem. Thank you. All right, he gave all the right answers, so you know he. Oh, were they? Wait a minute, let's re <laughs> negotiate. <laughs> See you guys. See you now. Did the car overheat? Yeah, is that what it was? No, where he put that sensor in, it's a metal sensor and it sits close to that box. Anytime the, the box comes gets through, it instantly, and he's got it set real low. I need him to set it up higher to like 90 because it's set at like 75. Oh, yeah, so, that's going to kick on all the time. Yeah. So he's, it's. <laughs> the dog's probably in there going, hey, what me, what me? Frank is Frank, and I know he's got a lot going on, and he, he does a good job, but he is overwhelmed. Yeah. But, I mean, if you look in there, I was having trouble marking on my radio a while back. Well, it wasn't just my mic, it's the radio. So, Wednesday's the next availability he's got to try to fix it. So, I undid my mic because the mic had a little bit of an issue, but it's screwed down. So, he was like, oh, I don't have my Torx bits with me. I'll get with you. And I seen him a couple times he's like oh i still don't have it i'll get a hold of you and he didn't get a hold of me so i have the old mic still screwed down and just hangs in my overflow with my with new, new mic. mic yeah no i didn't see there's some uh like charger stuff in the glove box that was it and then that this coat in the trunk with some caution caution tape. Yeah, I think it's just caution tape. No, it's actually police line tape in it. I don't mean that. Hold on. No, nope, caution. Plate that's not the same one that's on this thing. Do we have Eastland now? Yeah, we have a bunch of caution tape. 55, the uh, tow trucks here. What is that? EOU? Yeah, EOU 9698. How you doing today, sir? Alrighty, hey, this is going back to our station. It's going to your station? Yeah. Alright. Um, so, we'll just take it and we can park it. It doesn't have to be in the basement. Okay. We can just park it somewhere else. So, if you just drop it out back, we have a key. We can move it to where we need it. Okay. Alright, because the company is going to come pick it up. Alright. So, we'll give you the thing with all their information. We'll give you a contact for the company and they can square them with you guys then on that. Okay. Um.
good pen broke, so I'm using a I get it. Now. <laughs> if I had to pay for them, who knows what I'd have. <laughs> That's why I like the police department. I can just go get them out of the cabinet. I've got about 9,000 of them sitting in my nightstand. I grab one I use every day, came to work, click it, and then just shot them apart. I'm like, great. That's what kind of day it's going to be. Uh, I said, if you want to... If you want to move it out where you can get into it either, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, if, if I can get a face of this way, that'd be great. All right. somebody from that company is picking it up? Um, yeah, he'll just need his copy. And then I'll call the company and they can square up with uh, Eastland. You can go back. I'll wait till he picks up and I'll. Yeah, because I'll call. I'm gonna call them. Um, I'm gonna call them anyway. Are the keys still in it? Yeah, they're on the seat. So he's not a certified police officer. Wait a minute, this is a real wheel drive, isn't it? Uh, yeah, should be. That's all the third dollars instead of turning around again. I'll just turn it around. Whatever's easy. None of it's easy. Easy to be home and throw a beer. Yeah, especially on a day like today. Oh, yeah. But tonight I can't even do that when I get off because I'm on call tonight. Ah, oh, you get the same thing we get. Yeah. We usually only do Sunday nights, but one of our guys uh, just had a kid last night with his, with his, with his, with his morning. He asked me to come for him so he could spend a couple of days with him, so 